All right, how is everybody doing today? And I am back here today on NBA 2K17, and we are doing a historic minor league rebuild, and we are doing the OKC Thunder in the year 2010, 2011. So I did ask you guys on Twitter which team we should do next. I gave you guys a, a poll of four choices. Go uh, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description if you guys want to partake in any of these votes where I decide which historic rebuild we're going to do next. And also, I just made an Instagram. Uh, link is also in the description. Go hit me up with a follow. Uh, your boy up there on Instagram. Uh, so yeah, that link is also in the description. So this is one of the best, like the better teams in NBA history that was unsuccessful in winning a championship. Obviously, they had Kevin Durant, the big three, um, hold on, of Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, James Harden. We know that they shipped out James Harden, and then a couple years later, Kevin Durant left them in free agency, so Russell Westbrook's the only one left. And also, we can't forget about Serge Ibaka. They also traded him away to Orlando. Uh, they also have guys like Jeff Green, Nick Collison, Tabo Sefalosha, who they actually did start over James Harden for most of the time, just because for his defensive purposes, because Harden really isn't the best defender, and they had Harden off the bench. I don't, I feel like Harden did win a six-man in his career, but I could be wrong. He did, okay. 2012, he did win the six-man award. Um, Eric Maynard, uh, Daquan Cook, DJ White. Where did he go to college? George Mason. I feel like he was a first-round pick. I don't know, though. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. So, Let's see. I feel like I know Nick Collison is kind of beloved in OKC. Yeah, he's been there for a while. Uh, ooh, is he still with them in real life? I don't, I'm not sure. I'm sorry if all Thunder fans, I'm getting that wrong. But yeah, he was there in the uh, Supersonic days. So, Jeff Green. I kind of want to get a better center, but the bench isn't that good to begin with. So, you know what? I don't think I'm going to make any moves. Let's just say hypothetically this team gave it another year. And actually, what about if I gave up a first round pick and like... Royal Ivory, what am I doing? Okay, and JaVale McGee, no, re not really wanting to do that. Yao, no, he can't afford that. Would be interesting. What about if I give up two second rounders, uh, three second rounders, and two first rounders in Royal Ivory for Greg Monroe? Damn it, never mind. All right, you know, we're going to give this team a shot this year to see what they can do. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and let's see if this team can beat the Lakers and, uh, the Mavericks and uh, see if they can make it to the NBA Finals. All right, guys, I have no idea if my mic cut out there. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties over here. Um, so I the awards, LeBron won MVP, Rookie of the Year was Blake Griffin, uh, Sixth Man of the Year, I forgot, I'm sorry. Um, Defensive Boy of the Year was Dwight Howard, and Coach of the Year was Rick Carlisle. So I'll show you the stats once again. Um, Durant, 22, 7, and 8. Westbrook, 16, 5, and 6. Harden, uh, 14, and 5. And Abaka and Green both got 10 points a game. We, Nick Collison only 5-7. and seven. We're probably going to have to get a better center in the offseason. So, we're taking on the 17 Spurs. Not the team I would want to play in the first round. But, we win in 6. So, I'll take it. We're taking on the 6-seeded Trailblazers. Who have Wesley Matthews still. Um, LA 12. Gerald Wallace. Nicholas Batum. Okay, it's still a solid team. Let's simulate the current round against them. Are we going to beat them? Oh my god, okay. What's their coverage finals in year 1? Are we going to the finals? Nope, we lose. Okay, um, and it's Mavericks versus Pistons. What? Ben Gordon, Richard Hamilton. Okay. Um, interesting. Mavericks win easily. Dirk is your finals MVP. Okay, that was pretty much expected. I kind of wish that was us there. That was that was that looked like an easy matchup. Uh, so we're gonna reject all those league meetings. Let's go to the draft lottery. We're not gonna have any top pick, but honestly, trying to get in that top ten might be worth it because the draft class is very nice. Um, I, yeah, I'm surprised the Heat didn't make it. Um, okay. So let's go to the NBA draft here. Um, I'll kind of keep checking over to my right to make sure everything's okay, because I don't want, like, the mic cutting out, or, like, my face cam to shut out, or the software to shut down. So, hmm. Tavo Sevalosha and our th two picks this year. Could I upgrade that position? Mo Williams? Not bad. Timothy Mozgov from the Knicks, right? Yeah. Gortat. Trevor Ariza, not bad. JaVale McGee. Hmm. I, can get a, I can get Mo Williams, who would be a pretty solid backup point guard. But I think I'm going to... Ooh, Udonis has him. I don't want to take him from the heat. Um, We're going to go the... Where is he? The Trevor Ariza and a second round pick route. So he's going to be our backup small forward for probably the remainder of this video. Um, Any other trades I want to make? kind of want to check out the power forward to center market. Um, where is Greg Monroe? I think I tried getting him in the beginning of the video. I don't know if my mic hold, uh, held up for that part. So, Greg Monroe for Eric Maynard. And I will give you two first round picks and three seconds. Uh, there you go. 
There we go. Okay, so we get Greg Monroe on the game, on the game, on the team. So he's gonna be a very good center for us, I think, to fit in our spot. And we have the starting clock filled out for next year. The bench is coming along. We have our power forward, center, small forward. I guess Saquon Cook could be the backup shooting guard. I don't really know if I want to roll with that. But unfortunately, we don't have any draft picks, so we don't have anybody to sign our rookie signing. So team player options, we have none. Cool. Um, the only way I'm signing a free agent if somebody wants to come on a mid-level exception. Um, I do need a backup shooting guard or point guard. Ooh, okay, we definitely need to bring back Jeff Green. Okay, what? We have 57. Oh, we. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is, wait. Are they all still in the rookie deals? Oh, my God. Durant, 6 mil. Free agent next year, though. See, I went to Westbrook. They're going to be asking for 30 mil. And Harden. So, if we want to sign a free agent, we got to sign somebody now. Uh, we definitely have to bring back Nick Collison. Oh, my God. We have enough for a max deal. I guess we're going to try to sign a center. But I don't need one. Um, well, I guess we have Greg Monroe, but... We definitely don't need a point guard, oh, small forward or shooting guard. I guess Steve Nash. I could Steve Nash. Tyson Chandler might be the signing we do. 7 and 10 last year, 1.8 blocks. Let's offer this man the most they can. Um, I won't give you more than 27 mil, but it's okay because that's the most it lets me offer him. So, uh, four-year deal, player option, Tyson Chandler. Let's get you on the team. Um... Let's go. Let's go. We got Tyson Chandler on the team. Jeff Green goes to the Rockets. Are you kidding me? All right. We need a backup small forward. Now. No, we have Ariza. Huh. Uh, so do we need a backup power forward? Yeah. Let's get a backup power forward and point guard here in free agency still. So backup point guard, Mike Conley. And he's asking for 21 mil. I will give Norris Cole 2 mil a year if he wants to be the backup point guard. Um, honestly, I'll throw I'll, I'll, I'll throw an offer at Mike Conley. Um... Rodney Stuckey, 17 mil a year. Oh, Derek Fisher. Gilbert Arenas wants 20 mil. And we need a backup power forward. Thad Young, 16 mil a year, really. Reggie Evans for 5 mil a year, I'll do. Uh, we have so much cap room. Shane Battier, I thought he was more of a small forward. Uh, what is Zach Randolph asking for? 25 mil. Okay, so we're going to leave it at the at it, as it is. We'll sign Battier and Landry. We're just going to sign all these guys. Fisher goes to Toronto. That's cool. Uh, we got Reggie Evans, Norris Cole, Carlson, Daquan Cook. Do I want to sign Mike Conley? I can always shade him next year. So we're going to sign my comedy to be the backup point guard. Um, and yeah, that is going to be it for me now. I will see you guys at the start next season where we pretty much have like a super team already formed. And I'll see you guys at the starting rotations. So with the team, um, yeah, it's going to look like this pretty much. Westbrook, Harden, Durant, Abaka, Chandler, Greg Monroe, Mike Conley, Reggie Evans, and Trevor Ariza. Ooh, okay, yeah. We can do that. That's fine. Um... Wait, I'm going to give one more. Okay, yeah. Them getting 37 is cool with me. I'm going to give one last minute to Abaka, unfortunately. I'm going to give another minute to Collison. We're going to give one, uh, two less to Reggie Evans. And one less to Greg Monroe. We're going to give Chandler 30. And we'll give Abaka 27. So this is the team. Let's go win a championship and let's see if we can do it. I, like, for the remainder of this video, I want to do two more years and I want to win two championships. So let's see if we can complete goal number one of that and win this year. Uh, move over, Warriors. We have now won 74 games and we have the NBA record for wins. Well, at the time, the Warriors actually didn't have 73 wins yet. But Kevin Durant, MVP, 28, 8, 6.7, 2 steals and 2 blocks. Definitely an MVP caliber season. Enos Kanter gets rookie of the year. Uh, he was drafted by the Jazz, I believe, in real life. But he wins it for the Pelicans here. I'm surprised over, like, Kawhi Leonard... Jimmy Bowler, Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving. Uh, Nicholas Batum gets sixth man of the year again in Portland. I think he won it last year as well. Tim Duncan, defensive player of the year. Jordan Hill, most improved. <laughs> and why not? We have to get coach of the year after that season. Uh, guess we don't have Scott Brooks anymore. But Westbrook, all NBA first team, 23, 5, and 8. Durant, also all NBA first team. Did Harden make an all NBA team or is he left out? Uh, Harden's left out. Um, any other Thunder, though? Um, I would have liked if Chandler got an all defensive team, but it's okay. Uh, we don't have any rookies. So, we go 74-8. and eight. Obviously, the best record in the NBA. I don't think there'd be any team close to that. 13 games better than the Warriors, who had 61 wins. Okay, we're taking on the Trailblazers in the first round. They have Aldridge, uh, Wallace, Matthews, Joel Prisbill. Remember him? Brandon Roy, Patoon, Rudy Fernandez. All right, it's pretty good. It's a solid team, you know? It's a solid team. I don't know if it's better than our super team. Harden, 20 points a game and 7 assists. Should have made all NBA third team. Abaka, 9-7 a game. Greg Monroe, 8-7. Tyson Chandler, probably going to trade you for a cheaper but better center. Conley, probably going to trade you for another backup point guard. All right. So, uh, we're going to give a couple less minutes to Collison, Ariza, and Evans. Um, we'll give, give Greg Monroe 22. We'll give Abaka 30. And we'll give one more to Chandler. So, let's see if we can maybe go 16-0 in the playoffs. I don't know if it's going to happen. 
but all right we see game one game or round one round two oh my god <laughs> well i think we were down three to one wait um game uh game one we, we were up 1-0 we we're up 2-0 all right it was 2-2 they were up three to two and then we won two in a row we won game seven by four points westbrook 29 points and we're taking on the mavericks the reigning nba champions here in the western conference finals can we beat them please we won in five let's go we're taking on the four seeded celtics the heat lose in round two to the Celtics, who have Shaq now. Uh, Paul Pierce, who's an 88. Ray Allen, who's an 80. Jason Kidd, Nate Robinson, Avery Bradley, Tracy McGrady, okay. Um, and KG, who's an 84. But he's uh, regressing. So we're going to say we Kerman. And we sweep him. Let's go. Finals MVP. Is it going to be Westbrook or KD? It is KD. 27 and 9 and 5 assists a game. We win the championship. That's all I pretty much wanted to do uh, for that season, obviously, was our goal. Um, now I just want to, let's repeat. That's what my goal was, to win two championships with this amazing team. But I think um, we're going to have to clear up some salary because uh, we're going to have to sign Mr. Uh, KD and Westbrook, I believe. Maybe should have did it mid-season, but I don't think it let me. It would have let me. So, all right. To start off, we're gonna try to find a cheaper starting center that's not making more than ten mil a year. Fair enough. Uh, all right. Cousins. I doubt I could do Cousins for Tyson Chandler straight up. What about if I gave you Cousins and every pick I, I meant Chandler and every pick I want for Cousins, and I'll throw you in some Carl Landry. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Bargnani, mm, Roy Hibbert. Is he a free agent? Yeah. Greg Monroe, we already have. Valanchunas. Oh, there's not really too many good centers left than what we have. But I think we should try to cop Enos Canner just because he's cheaper. What about if I did that same offer to you? I don't really need these picks. Damn, and I'll give you Carl Landry. What? What about if I give you Trevor Ariza? Wow. What about if I give you Carl Landry and Trevor Ariza? Well, that's dumb, but yeah, we definitely got thinner. We definitely need to get another backup small forward now. Um, so, Enos Kanter, we brought him back. Or brought, oh, my God, voice crack. But we brought him to the Thunder, where he's in real life. I don't know if he's going to start off a Greg Monroe, but we got two cheap options there. Mike Conley is the next person we are trading. We are trading him for a backup point guard. Um, and maybe a team will give me some picks. Uh, Darren Collison, not bad option. Did he ever play for OKC? No, he did. But I feel like I feel like he did, but he, uh, yeah, I guess he did. Um, so, Mike Conley, straight up for Darren Collison. Uh, would you give me a first round pick next year and i'll give you a second all right just do call for com uh calmly straight up so we clear up cap there so we're gonna have around 74 mil well yeah that's gonna drop down to like five mil after we sign these two guys uh norris cole we probably don't need to bring back either james harden we're gonna have to accept this deal so nba draft we don't have any topics maybe i should have traded calmly to get a topic in the draft uh who was, I forgot who like the top players were in the draft. I think it was 2013 year, so it was Anthony Bennett's year. I love 2K. I love these historic roster glitch, guys. When you do these, sometimes some of these players are gonna make zero dollars and you can just accept this. So, all right, they just want us to build a crazier team. All right, let's just try to go 82 and 0 next year, why don't we? All right, um, wow. So uh, that was unexpected. So we're gonna have 74 million to work with because the two best players, like two of the top like seven overall players in this NBA, like hold on, top five right there overall wise, and Westbrook is like top ten. So two top ten players for the cost of zero dollars. Wow. Okay. Might as well just sign Chris Paul, right? Or offer him a deal. We're not getting him. Darren Williams, why not? I could trade him for a power forward and trade a Baca. I don't even know. I could build a crazier team. Monta Ellis. I'm just going to trade some of these guys, but why not get him? I have the money to spend. It's the last year anyway. Uh, All right. Jason Terry. Ooh, I don't know if KG. Uh, Paul Millsap. Okay. All right. So we get to Quan Cook. Cool. Uh, I forgot where Quan... Did Cook go to Duke? No, that was Quan Cook. Where did the Quan Cook go? Nova? I don't know if that's right. Um... Do we get, yes, we get Darren Williams. Why not? Okay, Jason Terry signs elsewhere. We can sign somebody else. So we can sign Paul Millsap, which is cool. We're going to do that. Um, I'm going to simulate until next year, guys. I will see you guys at the start of the next season where we're going to make a trade, and I don't even know how I want to work out this roster. All right, guys, three picks. Darren Collison and Paul Millsap from Marcus Aldridge. They don't want to do that. Okay, what about if I throw in Reggie Evans? Not going to work. All right, um, Blake Griffin is not going to work. All right, Paul Gasol uh, for Paul Millsap. And I will give you three picks. 
Will you do this? Daquan Cook for Chris Kamen. All right, we get Pau Gasol on the team. That is pretty cool. Um, I guess a Baca is going to be coming off the bench. Poor Baca. Um, yeah, guys, the best center is Dwight Howard, but he's four. He's only four stars. Could I do this? Like an Enos Canner. Oh, my God. If I could do this. Uh, probably not. And I'll throw in Chris Kamen. And you give me your worst player. This trade's not going to work. All right, so we already have, like, a, like I don't think we... Okay, Bogut might be interesting to get. Bogut for Enos Canner. Uh, Bogut put up 11 and 10 last year. You know what? Enos Canner is just as good. So, guys, why not just have Darren Williams as your six man? Like, we have no other spots to fill in this team. Um, the center position isn't really that good out there on the trade market. So, we have, like, a 91, 89, 95, 86, and a guy that won Rookie of the Year last year, averaging 17 and 10. So, we should... I'll uh, be very good. Uh, Darren Williams is going to be your sixth man. Serge Ibaka is our seventh man. Greg Monroe is our eighth man. Darren Collison is our ninth man. And Nick Collison. Oh, we have the Collison brothers. They're definitely related. Definitely related uh, as nine and ten. So, yeah. That is going to be for me. I Like, 82 games is not possible. But, honestly, we can do better than last year. And let's see if it's possible. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. 82 and 0 challenge, possibly? This is like an 82 and 0 challenge. But we might. Okay, I'm not going to jinx it, but we're on an 18 game winning streak. I probably just jinxed it. We're going to lose soon. But, oh, my. Of course. Of course. It's okay. Oh, my God. If we can go 70, not 78 and 4, that would be crazy. Ah, uh, Cavs. Okay, win. Pistons. Okay, win. Okay. Um, We should win these three games. These shouldn't be a problem. Should be a problem. Get, oh, really? Brooklyn. Oh my god. Oh my god. We were so close to the end of the year. Come on. Come on. No, now it's not gonna be as impressive if we go 76 and 6, but like this has gotta be it. Like we gotta go 76 and 6 or anything else is not gonna be impressive. Two more games, don't lose one. Please, please don't lose to the Rockets. Thank you. Okay. So we go 76 and 6. This is crazy. It's one of my best records in and pretty much like the last month of videos. I don't even know what was my best record in that 82 and 0 challenge we did. Kevin Durant is MVP. Anthony Davis, rookie of the year. Hello. Okay. Uh, Brandon Jennings, six man of the year. Um, Tim Duncan, defensive player of the year. So, yeah, I did get that draft class wrong. It was actually Eddie Davis, like Michael K. Gilchrist, Bradley Beal, uh, Damian Lower draft class, and Mike Conley gets most approved, not Anthony Bennett. So, coach of the year, Quinn Schneider, cool. Uh, Kevin Durant, all NBA first team, all NBA second team. No one, nobody on all NBA third team. Wow. Okay, we only have somebody on all NBA first team. I wonder if we got the one seed. Uh, Oh, wow, we did. Okay, cool. We got the one seed. Was not expecting that. And uh, stats-wise, yeah, it was just evenly distributed because, like, Darren Williams and, like, uh, in his can No, Darren Williams off the bench, like, Ibaka. But, guys, this team is so good. I'm sorry, Nick Collison. Actually, we'll give you minutes. We should win it all no matter what. Let's go. Let's go win it all. Um, can we go 16 0 in the playoffs? That would be super cool. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but round one, we win. We sweep them. That happened last year. Round two, we sweep. Round three, we sweep. Okay, 16-0. Let's go. We go 16 and 0 in the playoffs and we go 76 and 6 in the regular season. 23, 8 and 7 from KD. Let's go. Um yeah, so that is going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't make uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for when I do polls for which historic teams we do next. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Link to that will be in the description. March Madness is on. I got to go check that out. You guys will see this video around 6 o'clock Eastern and March Madness is already going to be in full effect by then. So hopefully all your brackets are good. Follow me on Twitter like I said uh, for me to also I'm going to keep updates on that stuff as well and my input. Love you guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I think we're about to hit 73k. It means a lot. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.